Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're talking about the four last things, death, judgment, heaven, and hell. Last time, we went over the subject of hell, and this time I thought we'd discuss heaven. What is it really? Heaven is the destination of those who accept God. In their lives, they make the choice to do this by acting as God wants them to in grave matters, or of repenting when they sin. Because of this, they draw near to God, and He, in turn, draws near to them. They act with charity and self-sacrifice when it comes to God, and they plead for His help and mercy, even when they're alive, so their relationship with God is salvageable, and God, being infinitely generous, does everything He can to salvage it. Since God is the only source of goodness in our lives, and the only source of salvation for anyone, those who accept Him are saved by Him when they die, and just being in His presence leads them to every good thing. Now, just as the pains of hell result from being far removed from God, the joys and pleasures of heaven and eternal happiness are a direct result of being so close to Him. Because the souls in heaven have accepted the goodness of God, He's free to give them all the goodnesses that He wants to. That desire, like everything else about God, is limitless. Because of this, the defining trait of heaven is that it's where everything good and nothing evil is present. Just as hell lacks art, culture, science, math, philosophy, rock and roll, alcohol, pleasures, jokes, songs, poems, creativity, freedom to design, produce, and build, heaven has all of those things and more besides. All of these things are good, so the close presence of God is the source of them. Think of anything that isn't evil or is in some way good or enjoyable by its nature. Heaven has every last one, without exceptions. In fact, it's more than even this. Many things that are good aren't present in this life, or are in some way imperfect. For example, alcohol is itself a good thing, but in this life it often tempts people into alcoholism, which is a vice. In heaven, alcohol doesn't do this. Beauty is a good thing, but in this life it often tempts people into vanity and shallow materialistic behavior. In heaven, beauty isn't like this. Every good thing on earth is also present in heaven, in an even better and more perfect state. There are also countless good things in heaven that weren't present on earth, were imperfect on earth, or could only be attained through some illicit means on earth. However, in heaven, those things will exist, be perfect, and be attainable through just means, respectively. It's a place of joy, trust, satisfaction, expression, etc., because God is there. That's the reason why people in heaven are truly happy and satisfied. Everyone is happy there, especially God himself. You may be able to get a little water out of an old well, but it's not the same thing as going for a swim in the lake. Heaven is the same way. The vast amplification and increase of everything good, and the total diminishing of everything bad. Next time, what's this about a new heavens? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.